This is Bumper to Bumper TV. An automobile in its simplest form is supposed to get you from one place to another. Most cars these days do more than that, offering space for passengers in varying degrees of comfort. And then there's the Roadster, an open top two-seater. And one of the few production cars that fall into this category these days is the Mazda MX-5. It originally debuted in 1989 as the Miata, with a 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine delivering only 100 horsepower. Now. Fast forward 20 years and the Miata is called the MX-5. It manages to maintain the model's basic design legacy, but it also has some lines that seem to come from high-end European models. It still is a two-seater which can accommodate drivers and passengers, ranging from children to adults over six feet tall. And like its predecessors, the MX-5 still operates on a basic front-engine rear-wheel drive platform, with driving being the operative word here. Squeezed under the hood is the current 2-liter chain-driven 4-cylinder engine. This delivers 167 horsepower and 140 foot-pounds of torque. On paper, that sounds pretty good, but in real-world driving conditions, we found the MX-5 a little lacking in the pin-you-to-the-seat acceleration mode. Now, this could be a real screamer if there was a way to drop the 2.3-liter turbo engine from the Mazda Speed 3 into this car. What we did like was this a perfectly matched six-speed transmission in the Grand Touring model. While an automatic with paddle shifters is available, we prefer the manual since it forces a driver to truly understand the nearly lost art of engine management. However, even with its stick-to-the-basics engineering approach, the MX-5 isn't a complete throwback. The current model does have traction control, an audio system which accommodates auxiliary inputs, Bluetooth phone capabilities, and even heated seats if you want them. Now, to just find that piece of open road on a perfect day, this is Greg Morrison.